So a couple of chapters back, we talked about going into the uh, the voices here and turning them on and off, and I showed you how you could adjust the harmony level and how these voices worked in terms of logic. You know that the first one you turned off is the first one, or turned on, sorry, is the first one to turn off when you end up passing the four voices. So we saw how you sort of chase your tail a little bit there, and I gave you some uh, some little uh, tricks there for how to keep track of it. Now we're going to actually press and hold the voices button here. Uh, whichever one we want to edit. So I'm going to press and hold the low voice here. And then it actually gives us a menu that we can edit these voices from. So I can adjust the level, I can adjust the panning of that voice, I can adjust the portamento, which is how much the voice slides from note to note rather than jumping. So it's almost like the hard tuning or the, 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 the aggressiveness of the pitch correction of the harmony voice. So if you uh, experiment around with a little bit of portamento, um, which is also uh, um, the smoothing, uh, that they sort of work hand in hand, mess around with those a little bit and you can get some uh, quite human sounding uh, um, transitions from note to note. Uh, if you're finding that things sound a little bit too jumpy, this is a, a good uh, parameter for you to mess with. You can also mess with the gender in here, so you can make it sound more like a male and more like a female. So sometimes you want to do that based on whether or not the voice is above your own. Say if you're a male singer and it's a, a voice above, you might want to make it more female. Vice versa, if you're female and it's singing below you, you might want to make it more male. Uh, it's a good, good parameter to mess about with there. And then we've got the voicing. Now this actually changes the voicing. So I could say, you know, I could turn this to, uh, to lower. When I back out here into voices, now you can actually see, because I edited this lower here, I've got two lowers. Well, that's totally OK. I could have four lower voices if I wanted to. I could have four unison voices or four higher voices. You can set those any way you want. So that's a really cool thing that you can go in and actually have multiples of the same voice. But you could say, have them with uh, different genders or different amounts of portamento, portamento um, different, amount, different amounts of smoothing and different uh, levels and different pans. So you could really create a group of people who are all singing the same part, per se, uh, say below you or above you, but it does sound like it's a different group of people rather than it just being one voice repeated over and over again. So that gives you a sense of what you can do inside the voices edit screen here. Really, really cool stuff that you can get at and have some fun with.